Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today I have for you another homework helper and today we're going to talk about density. Get your calculator and let's get ready. A sample of sucrose that weighs 9.35 grams is placed in a 15 milliliter flask. The remaining volume of the flask is filled with benzene, a liquid in which sucrose does not dissolve. The density of benzene is 0 0.879 grams per cubic centimeter or milliliter. The sucrose and benzene together weigh 17.33 grams. What is the density of sucrose? What we see here is we have a density that we're looking for. And density is going to be what? Mass divided by volume. So let's take a, a look at all our numbers. We've got 9.35 grams of sucrose. It's in a 15 milliliter flask. Now notice it's not 15 milliliters of sucrose. It's in a 15 milliliter flask. And the remaining volume is filled with benzene. And benzene has a density of 0.879 grams per cubic centimeter or milliliter. Remember a cubic centimeter is one milliliter. And the sucrose and the benzene together weigh 17.33 grams. Now, all this information together is what we're going to use to solve this and determine the density of sucrose. Let's first develop a plan. Density is the ratio of mass to volume and represented by the equation D equals M over V. Now, we know that the mass of sucrose is 9.35 grams and we know that the volume, well, oh, no, we don't know the volume. So how can I get the volume of sucrose? Well, it just so happens that the flask volume minus the benzene volume would equal the sucrose volume. But I don't know the volume of the benzene. What I'll take is the density of benzene and use that to determine the volume of benzene. And then that'll get us the volume of sucrose. My plan of attack is going to be find the volume of benzene, calculate the volume of sucrose, and then I can calculate the density of sucrose. All right. Let's go to the magic blackboard. For the volume of benzene, first I'm going to take uh, our little formula, D equals M over V, and I need to algebraically rearrange it. And so using our algebra tools, I'll get V equals M over D. And I know that the mass is going to be 17.33 grams minus 9.35 grams, and that'll give me 7.8 are 7.98 grams of benzene. And then the density will be 0.879 grams per milliliter or cubic centimeter. Let's substitute our values into the equation and then just plug and chug it into our calculators and 9.08 milliliters or cubic centimeters. And um, of course, we're gonna pay attention to three sig figs. Now, the volume of sucrose, the flask, volume minus the benzene volume will equal the sucrose volume. So 15 milliliters minus 9.08 milliliters will equal 5.9 milliliters uh, considering the sig figs. Now let's do the density of sucrose. Density of course equals mass divided by volume. The mass of the sucrose is 9.35 grams and the volume is 5.9 milliliters or cubic centimeters and density equals 9.35 divided by 5.9 and we get 1.6 grams per milliliter with a two sig figs. All right, we made a plan. We determined uh, the formula. We used our algebra to rearrange that formula. We executed our plan. And if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com and be sure to check out my websites and subscribe to my YouTube. All right, everybody. Happy holidays.